Hello everyone and welcome back to Jacklet Educational Channel. So this video we are going to know about the runaway sexual selection process. This is a very important concept. So this concept is important for the ecology and evolution and specifically it is for gate ecology and evolution paper from the syllabus. This concept is important and we are in the part 13 of this revision. So if you haven't checked the previous lessons, you can check the link given in the i button as well as in the description below. And yes, if you want to participate in the daily quiz which is conducted in our telegram group, you can join the link is provided in the description. And also for current affairs related to environmental science, you can join our Instagram page and virus science preparation. So without much delay, let's start today's video. How this concept was formed and who framed this concept? So this concept of runaway sexual selection was given by Ronald Fisher. That's why its other name is Fisherian sexual selection. So you should not get confused. Fisherian sexual selection or runaway sexual selection are both the same thing. So note down these things very very important. So this runaway sexual selection suggests that extreme male traits can evolve through a process in which the male trait and the female preference for that trait become genetically linked. So this is in simple word I will tell you male show off and female attraction. So male show off to increase their population to increase their generation and female are attracted towards that show off quality or male trait. So here what happens is what are the male traits which are showing off or which are going to be beneficial in the long run. For example the male peacock's tail. As you can see in this picture the male peacock is projecting its tail in a fashionable manner so that the female peahen is going to be attracted and their generation is going to increase. Similarly, in the case of iris elk, the antlers, huge antlers, that means you can see here are the antlers in the iris elk. So the female are attracted towards more larger antler size or more decorative antlers, which are the attractive feature for the female partner. So here what comes is that this thing is telling that according to the generation one after another this male trait or many male characteristic and the preference by the female for that trait become genetically linked. So from one generation to another this choice is going from one generation to another this preference and show off and what happens is the male trait does not necessarily have to be beneficially to the male in any way all it has to do is to attract the female. So this large size of the peacock tail or this large antlers they are not at all helping these two animals. They are only to attract the females. But why this name is given as run away sexual selection we will know in the next slide because run away means out of control. So what is this out of control we will know in the next slide. So before knowing what is this run away or out of control this thing this phenomena. So once again we will know that here in this case when males with the trait that mate with the females prefer the trait they pass on and they are inherited to their offspring whether male or female. That means the male are passing their characteristics of showing off to female and female are also passing on their traits to their offspring that you should be attracted toward more larger or more decorative kind of traits in the male. I hope you are able to understand male prajati ke jo janwar hote hai unka jo hai traits pass on hota hai agle generation ke male mein ki aapko is tarah ka display karna hai jaise ki female attract ho and female ka jo hai characteristic pass hota hai unke vanshaj ko ki aapko bhi attracted hona hai is tarah ke traits jab aap male animal mein aapko milta hai. So what is this run away process? Run away process means it is fueled by the positive feedback loop of ever exaggerated male traits and ever increasing female preference. So what happens is when this thing that is this attraction and this show off is increasing from the evolutionary characteristics this is giving a positive feedback that means every time the male is attracted the female is attracted towards the male trait and it is giving the positive feedback loop and the progeny is growing. But what happens is until the natural selection disadvantages of the trait. What happens is this trend, this loop will continue to go at what time, till what time, till the time when there is the disadvantage coming. What is the disadvantage? For example, 
a tail it is growing more and more from one generation to another will be difficult for the peacock because it will outweigh the sexual selection advantage that means the male peacock cannot move so that is not good for the male peacock and the next generation also so this thing is outweighing the sexual selection in order to go for the sexual selection the male peacock is compromising or it is now in the danger or the disadvantage of the long trade that is the large tail so that problem will persist and it will be very very problematic that is when we will say that is out of control when it is more than the required amount of sexual display of the organism so no problem till that time when it is not giving any disadvantages to that animal so i hope it is clear so ye jo process hai tab tak hi labhdayak hogi jab tak ke male ya fir female partner ko iska koi nuksan na ho so till that time they can increase their trait of attraction and show off so now we will know some more concept related to this so in this concept run away sexual selection the male trait becomes more pronounced and the female attraction to that trait becomes more stronger from one generation to another so that means the fitness of both males and females increase so this is not about the physical fitness this is telling the genetic fitness that means the capability of an organism you should note down genetic fitness means the capability of an organism to survive and reproduce so ye apne reproduction ke liye ye bahut hi labhdayak hota hai becomes more and more stronger this fitness and it is a mutualistic coevolution between males and female so they will evolve cooperatively that means the male will grow more and more in their display and the female will be growing that power of attracted toward that trait but here there is a difference between chase away sexual selection yes run away sexual selection is a bit different from chase away sexual selection we will know in the next slide so let's move on to the next slide so in the run away sexual selection we came to know that both the genetic fitness has increased in both male and female but in chase away sexual selection as male fitness increases female fitness decreases so this thing you should only note down that it is vice versa when the female fitness increases the male fitness decreases and when the male fitness increases the female fitness decreases so it is an antagonistic coevolution between males and females so it is not like the run away sexual selection which is protagonistic in characteristics it is antagonistic that is chase away sexual selection so here also the traits are evolving from one generation to another in male and female but here as male fitness increases female fitness decreases and vice versa so here this was the simple difference between run away and chase away sexual selection i hope you have noted down all these things and you have got a overall idea about the run away and chase away sexual selection if you like this don't forget to like the video subscribe the channel to get all further updates keep smiling believe in yourself and all the very best for the examination